I'm going to take you through how to set up the Pro Electric Pro Light Solar Lighting Tower. Once you get the unit to site, it's key that you set the unit up on a firm level ground. Face the panels into the south, yeah. south position. You can either do this by the compass inside the units, which is in this little green pouch here. Once the unit south and you're happy with the position of the lights, make sure the handbrake of the trailer is up to lock the wheels into place. And now we're ready to get the outriggers out and deployed onto the firm level ground. Open the door, and inside here is the manual. It's really important that all operators use the manual and read it to know how exactly how to use the machine, along with the safety details introduced in the set of guides, as well as this video. Go to the socket, insert your leg winder, and install the locking pin provided into the winder. Release the yellow locking pin, pull the leg out until it's maximum reach, and the pin will drop, if not, put the pin through the legs. Undo the second locking pin. Find the nearest hole in the ground condition. And again, lock off with the locking pin to prevent it from coming out. And once the pins are in place, find the handle clockwise. So it lowers to the ground, ensuring that the unit's going level as per the leveling bubble. Once this leg's in place, go around to the other three legs around the machine and get the unit as, as level as you can. There is a leveling bubble on the side of the machine and that's a good indicator whether the ProLite is level. And then once all the legs are in position on the firm ground, it's now time to deploy the solar panels. By doing so, releasing the two L locks on the top of the panels. By using the blue levers pushing it down, downwards angle, slide that. Ensuring that you hear that click and the panels firmly into position. We'll do the same for the other side. Now we need to angle the lights into position for your lighting spread. And this can be done if lights go left and right. So the lights can also go up and down to ensure that if you will have areas where you have to use this light for a task lighting, you can rotate these lights to that particular area to shine that light spread onto your working area for your engineers or operators. Once you're happy with your light position, you can just raise the mast. So this is your control panel. You've got your light, your light trip switches, your mast up and down control, and your pan, that's your lighting bar, turning left, left or right to ensure that you're lighting up your area that you desire. So to raise the mast up, just press and hold, the mast toggle switch in position. And raise the mast. The mast is a seven meter high mast. It will just stop at seven meters. Before hiring the mast, you need to ensure that there's no overhead services, like cables or trees to prevent any injury or damage to the equipment. Once you have the mast up in the air, is you can turn the light and bar left to right to whatever area you want to shed your light on.
And then when you have your lights in position, is you just need to leave your lights on. And you want to be looking out for the red indicator, which means the trip switches are in the on position. It's really important that when you set these up on a dust or door node, is these trip switches stay in the up position. So then the computer will tell the lights to come on and off when it reaches dust or door. At the minute, the lights are left on. That's because this machine, the pro light, is set to manual. So it will work until someone goes and turns the trip switches off. Trip switches off. But by all means, if you needed this to be run on a um, timing schedule or dawn until dusk, we can use our pro electric lighting portal to do so. system is designed, designed to take the mass down when a user or operator tows the trailer away. So with the engineer or the operator releasing the handbrake to tow or to move the tower, it will drop the lightning mast down to its stowed position. This is to prevent the trailer from moving around with the mast up at a high level, hitting obstacles and obstructions. And lastly, once you finish setting up your pro electric, pro light lighting tower, lock all the doors to make the unit all nice and secure. And then that is how you set up the pro electric, pro light lighting tower.